Today, we're diving deep into a topic that has garnered significant attention over the years. Why Venezuela economy is so terrible. The Venezuelan economy has been facing tremendous challenges from hyperinflation to political instability. In this video, we'll explore the historical, political, and economic factors that have contributed to the country's current economic woes. So, let's get started. Eleven, Historical Context To truly understand the current state of the Venezuelan economy, we must first look at its historical context. Venezuela was once considered one of the wealthiest nations in South America thanks to its vast oil reserves. The country enjoyed a period of economic prosperity throughout the 20th century, driven largely by its oil exports, oil dependency. Venezuela's economy heavily relies on oil exports, which provided a significant portion of the government's revenue. However, this over-dependence on oil left the country vulnerable to fluctuations in global oil prices, mismanagement and corruption. Despite its wealth, mismanagement and corruption started to plague the Venezuelan economy. Wealth was concentrated in the hands of a few, and this unequal distribution of resources contributed to social unrest. Number 10. Economic Crisis – Three Years of Recession Venezuela is in its third year of recession. Its economy is expected to contract 10% this year, according to the International Monetary Fund. The IMF forecasts Venezuela will be in recession until at least 2019. While the economy shrinks, the price of goods is skyrocketing. This year, inflation is expected to rise 475%. According to the IMF, Venezuela's currency has plummeted in value. Consider this, $1 equals 100 bolivars exactly two years ago. Today, a dollar gets you 1,262 bolivars, according to dollartoday.com, which tracks the popular unofficial rate. Years of excessive government spending on welfare programs, poorly managed facilities, and dilapidated farms set the stage for the crisis. Number 9. Venezuela's Broken Engine – Oil Things got really bad when oil prices started to plunge in 2014. Venezuela has the world's largest oil reserves, but the problem is that oil is the only game in town. It makes up over 95% of Venezuela's revenue from its exports. If it doesn't sell oil, the country doesn't have money to spend. Oil prices were over $100 a barrel in 2014. Today, they hover around $50 a barrel, after dropping as low as $26 earlier this year. The problem is that Venezuela has not taken care of its cash cow, squandering opportunities to invest in its oil fields when times were good. Because the country has neglected with the upkeep of its oil facilities, production has dropped to a 13-year low. Venezuela's state-run oil company, PDVSA, hasn't paid the companies that help extract its oil, such as Schlumberger, SLB. In the spring, Schlumberger and other companies dramatically reduced operations with PDVSA, citing unpaid bills. PDVSA warned last week that it could default on its debt if bondholders didn't accept new payment terms. On Monday, just enough investors accepted a new deal that allowed PDVSA to likely avoid default this year. However, experts say it's only delayed a default by a few months. Number 8. Soaring Food Prices and Broken Hospitals Venezuela's food shortages became extremely severe this year. Venezuelans went weeks, in some cases months, without basics like milk, eggs, flour, soap, and toilet paper. Despite a crashing currency and falling oil revenue, the government continued enforcing strict price controls on goods sold in the supermarkets. It forced food importers to stop bringing in virtually everything because they would have had to sell it for a major loss. In the first half of 2016, food imports were down by nearly 50% from the same time a year ago, according to several estimates. Only recently has the government stopped enforcing price controls, and food has returned to supermarket shelves. However, prices are so high that few Venezuelans can afford the food. 
Medicine remains in short supply too. Venezuelans hunt for penicillin and other remedies at pharmacies everywhere, often without any success. The country's public hospitals have fallen apart, causing people, even infants, to die due to scarcity of basic medical care. Number 7. Running out of cash and gold Venezuela is running out of cash quickly. It doesn't have enough money to pay its bills for too long. The math just doesn't add up. It owes $15 billion between now and the end of 2017, while the nation's central bank only has $11.8 billion in reserves. At the same time, Venezuela's only other cash source, PDVSA, is pumping less oil and risking default. Most of its reserves are in the form of gold. So, to make debt payments this year, Venezuela has shipped gold bars to Switzerland. China used to bail out Venezuela and loan it billions of dollars, but even China has stopped giving its Latin American ally more cash. Number 6. Political Factors The political landscape of a country plays a crucial role in shaping its economy. In the case of Venezuela, political factors have significantly impacted its economic trajectory. Rise of Hugo Chavez The late President Hugo Chavez came to power in 1999 and implemented a series of socialist policies aimed at addressing income inequality and poverty. While some of these policies were initially popular, they eventually had unintended consequences. Populism and Economic Policies Chavez's policies included nationalizing key industries, which led to decreased private sector investment and inefficiencies in state-run enterprises. Additionally, his government implemented price controls on basic goods, leading to shortages and a thriving black market. Decline in Rule of Law The erosion of the rule of law, attacks on independent institutions, and limited press freedom undermined investor confidence in the country. This resulted in reduced foreign direct investment, hampering economic growth. Number 5. Economic Factors Beyond historical and political factors, economic mishaps have played a significant role in the deterioration of Venezuela's economy. Hyperinflation One of the most glaring issues is hyperinflation. The Venezuelan government resorted to printing money to finance its deficit leading to a vicious cycle of rising prices and dwindling purchasing power. Currency Devaluation The Bolivar, Venezuela's national currency, faced severe devaluation due to economic mismanagement. This made imported goods expensive and fueled inflation further. Dependency on Imports Despite being an oil-rich nation, Venezuela became heavily reliant on imports for basic necessities. This vulnerability was exacerbated by the decline in domestic production, leading to shortages of essential goods. 4. International Factors It's important to note that international factors have also played a role in Venezuela's economic troubles. Oil Price Volatility Global oil prices have been subject to extreme volatility, impacting Venezuela's primary source of revenue. A steep decline in oil prices severely affected the country's ability to generate income. Sanctions and Isolation The international community imposed sanctions on the Venezuelan government due to concerns over human rights violations and democratic erosion. These sanctions limited the government's access to international markets and further hindered economic recovery. 3. Humanitarian Crisis The cumulative effects of these factors have resulted in a dire humanitarian crisis in Venezuela. Poverty and malnutrition, rampant inflation, and economic instability have pushed millions of Venezuelans into poverty. Malnutrition rates have surged particularly among vulnerable populations. Healthcare Collapse The healthcare system has collapsed with shortages of medicine and medical supplies. This has exacerbated health issues and led to increased mortality rates. Mass Migration The economic crisis has triggered a mass wave of migration as people seek better opportunities abroad. This brain drain has long-term implications of the country's recovery. Two potential pathways to recovery. Despite the challenging circumstances, there are potential pathways to recovery for Venezuela's economy. Structural Reforms 
implementing structural reforms that encourage private sector investment, address corruption, and improve the business environment could help stimulate economic growth. Diversification of Economy Moving beyond oil dependency by diversifying the economy could make Venezuela less vulnerable to oil price fluctuations. International Cooperation Collaborating with the international community and adhering to democratic principles could help lift sanctions and restore investor confidence. 1. Conclusion In conclusion, the terrible state of Venezuela's economy is the result of a complex interplay of historical, political, economic, and international factors. The country's journey to recovery will be arduous, but not impossible. As global citizens, understanding these factors is crucial in fostering empathy and awareness about the challenges faced by the Venezuelan people. Economic diversification will be an especially difficult climb for Venezuela, given the scale of its economic and political collapse over the last decade. The country would likely need to revitalize its oil sector before it could cultivate and develop other important industries. But this would take enormous investment, which analysts say would be hard to come by given Venezuela's unstable political environment, trends in oil demand, and rising concerns about climate change. Please subscribe to Travel the World. Thank you for watching.